Hi, I'm Varsha and you're watching this video from JustTutors.com. In this video, we are going to learn about relationship between zeros of the polynomial and its coefficient. But before moving to our today's topic, we'll try a warm-up question. Here is a question for you. To try this warm-up question, you can pause the video. So basically in this warm-up question, you need to match the graph with the correct algebraic expression. So for the first one, this is under root x and for the second one, this is 1 over x. Now we are moving ahead with our topic which is about relationship between zeros and the coefficient of a polynomial. First of all we are going to discuss about linear polynomial. Say there is a linear polynomial ax plus b. So to find the zero of this polynomial we need to equate it to the zero. Now we will keep the variables on the one side of the, pol of the equals to sign and constant on the other side. So this is ax equals minus b. Now we divide both the sides by a which will give s x as minus b by a. So the zero of this polynomial is minus b by a. Say we denote the zero of the polynomial by alpha. So this gives us a value of alpha s minus b by a. Now we move ahead about quadratic equation. So if alpha and beta are the roots of the quadratic equation x square a x square I'm sorry plus bx plus c equals to 0. So alpha plus beta is equals to minus b by a where b is the coefficient of x and a is the coefficient of x square. Alpha times beta is equals to c by a where c is the constant and a is the coefficient of x square. Now about the cubic equation if there's a cubic equation ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus t equals to 0 and alpha, beta and gamma are the three roots of the equation then alpha plus beta plus gamma is equals to minus b by a alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equals to c by a alpha beta gamma is equals to minus d by a where b is the coefficient of x square a is the coefficient of x to the power 3 c is the coefficient of x and d is a the constant. Now we are moving ahead to the biquadratic equation. If alpha, beta, gamma and delta are the roots of the biquadratic equation ax to the power 4 plus bx cube plus cx square plus tx plus e equals 0 then alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta is equals to minus b by a alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma delta plus alpha gamma plus alpha delta plus beta delta is equal to c by a alpha beta gamma plus alpha gamma delta plus alpha beta delta plus beta gamma delta is equal to minus d by a alpha beta gamma and delta is equal to e by a where b is the coefficient of x cube a is the coefficient of x to the power 4 c is the coefficient of x square, d is the coefficient of x and e is the constant. Now we move ahead and we are going to try a question where the sum and the product of the zeros are given. The sum is which is if there is an equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0, alpha and beta are the roots then sum is equals to minus 5 product is equals to 6 and there is a formula which says x square minus sum of the roots times x plus product of the roots equals to 0. Now we substitute the value x square minus minus 5 times x plus 6 equals 0 and when we solve it we get the answer as x square plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. Now here is another question which says that you need to verify where 3 minus 3 minus 1 and minus 1 over 3 are the zeros of px and px is 3x cube minus 5x square minus 11x minus 3 to check whether these all are the zeros of the polynomial or not we substitute the value of x as first as 3 if it is 0 then this is a 0 of the polynomial then x is minus 1 if it is again 0 then minus 1 is also the 0 of the polynomial then we put the value as minus 1 by 3 if it is equals to 0 then this is also the 0 of the polynomial 
Now we move ahead and here are some practice questions for you. To try these practice questions, you can pause the video. Now here are the answers of the questions. You can match the answers and I must say that you should pat your back as you are working really well in understanding the relationship between the coefficient of the equation and the zeros of the equation. Thank you for watching the video. For more, please visit justutors.com.